Okay guys, first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer to bronze up my skin. As you can see, my face is looking a bit pale. So I'm taking this Real Techniques, Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just going to start warming up my skin. I'll self tan for the wedding. So there's still a little bit left on my chest. So the rest of my body looks a bit... I mean, well, my face looks a bit pale. I could have used a darker foundation, but it's fine. Oh, my hair's just sticking. It is so hot. And I can't put a fan on because it's going to make too much noise. So, as you can see, I bronze. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my eyeliner or my eyeshadow, sorry, eyeshadow brush and just contour my nose a little bit. It's so hot my foundation is literally like I'm just sweating. See, as you can see we warmed up the skin quite a bit. My skin's so flaky because I went for a chemical peel like two days ago and obviously it, all the skin is coming off. Coolio. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is some eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I'm going to use is this palette from Revolution. It's the Soap X palette. Um, and yeah, we are going to go straight into this shade over here. You can see properly. So we're going to use this as our transition shade. Just to blend that, buff that in our crease. So that when we put our other shades in, other colours, should I say, the darker colours, it will blend seamlessly. Look at these little baby hairs here. Just put those away. <laughs> I feel like I look so pale on camera compared to in the mirror. Again, excuse because I'm going to sweat. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into this shade over here. Same brush. I'm going to start buffing that in. Crease. I've got such a big sore by my nose because I had a pimple there and obviously the chemical peel burns it off. It's not so bad, burns it off. Same colour. I put it into this eye. You see, I focus on putting the bulk of the product here and then once the brush is a lot more cleaner, I start bringing it in. To the inner corner. Ooh, these baby hairs. I can't wait till these baby hairs are like grown out completely so I could just tie them up in a pony. I haven't cut a fringe for so long and they're still like bothering me. Make sure it's all buffed in. What we're gonna do with that same colour, I'm gonna take a little brush like this. Again, that same colour, and I'm going to start buffing it into the eye. Underneath. I feel like the more buffed out for this look, the better. And then I'm going to take this 217 brush with that same shade, lightly press it into the palette and then buff that out completely. So it's very washed out under the eye. It's quite far under the eye, like dragged down. So you wouldn't usually drag it down this far. But for the sake of the tutorial, this is what we're doing today. Just make sure everything's buffed out with your fluffy brush so you can like tie everything in together. Just 
obviously don't dunk this brush back in but we're just using it like as a blender brush so then we're going to take this same brush again and now we're going to dunk it into this reddish mauveish purplish cherryish <laughs> shade and we're going to start buffing this in over here said concentrate the bulk of it there then slowly start to bring blend in the rest towards the center it's going to starting to look like that and then again fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines cool and then again we're going to take this brush with that same color and start buffing it underneath I literally just went right in my eye. <laughs> Puppy brush. Made that out. Ooh, that's a... You slowly see how the color is starting to build. Then what we're going to do is we're going to dunk our brush, sorry, our 217 brush into this black shade over here start buffing that in so take your time with the black You want it to look seamlessly blended in. Bling, bling, bling. And then again, I like to pull it out and upwards because it helps me with my hooded eye. Okay, fluffy brush. Then we'd go over those edges just to make it seamlessly blend out. We do everything is blended out, blended out, blended. And then we're gonna take this brush again into the black, tap with the excess, concentrate on the outer corner over here. Because we're gonna do a liquid liner and we're gonna connect this with our liquid liner. Make sure all the excess is off. And then pick up that line. Again, fluffy brush to make sure everything is seamless. Ooh, cool. Like I said, for eyeshadow over here, what we're going to do, I'm going to go into this red shade over here with my finger. And I'm going to plonk that down like that. Like I said, makeup is supposed to be fun. If you make a mistake, learn from it and just bl blend it in and make it work, you know. So fluffy brush with nothing on and I'm just sweeping over the over the lid. You don't need it to be so intense. If you do want it to be more intense, the red, all you have to do is um, you pat it on but obviously you don't brush it over it like I'm doing right now. I'm just making sure it's blended in properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to dip my brush back into there and just intensify it a little bit more. So it actually looks quite good. Like I said, I don't rehearse these. I'm playing. So as I go along, 
and decide what I'm going to do. Make the inner corners a bit red. I think that will look quite cool. Ooh, does look quite cool. And then I'm going to take this liquid liner from Inglot. Looks like this. That's in the shade black. And I am going to take this brush from Inglot as well. It's the angle brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some on the brush. And I'm going to just put it on the back of my hand. So that I can make the brush sharp and flat. I need to hold a closer mirror. Make sure it's sharp. So my lashes get in the way all the time. So I have to be careful. I don't know why my eyes are feeling so sensitive today. And my Inglot is actually drying up. So I'm battling to actually put it on. Ooh. Look how my lashes are sticking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush and rub it under my eye as well. To make the waterline extremely black. I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, then next what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this mascara from Essence. I'm going to apply some on. This is a base because I want to be putting falsies on. Just going to brush them down a bit. I don't even think I'm going to put falsies on. This mascara is so, like, insane. I think I'm going to skip the falsies. Then I'm going to put on the bottom. Okay, cool. So I missed, I smudged a little bit under my eye. I'm just gonna buff that in. Cool, I'm gonna put on some blush. The blush that I am using is from NYX. Soft blush in the color OB07. I don't know if there's, I think it is soft blush. It looks like this, it's like a pretty ombre. I'm gonna make it quite Prominent. I'm gonna blend that into my bronzer. And then I'm gonna put highlighter on before we start with our paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Becca highlighter. 
Look at all my takes. This has honestly become my favourite highlighter that I've owned. Ooh, look at that. Okay, cool. Now on to the fun part. I have got all my paints here from um, Crayolin. Looks like this. I'm going to open it for you and show you. If I can get it open. <laughs> and they look like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting um, like my eye pieces on and my lips. So I'm going to open them. Cool. And then I've got my little water here and my paint brushes. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm going to outline with a thinner brush and then fill in with a darker one. Um, I'm going to go in with black. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other paintbrush and I'm going to start filling it in. If you don't have a steady hand, ooh, now look what I did. Take a clean brush and try and We'll take some concealer just now and just touch that up. So if you don't have a steady hand, try and lean your hand on a desk. Like my brows are too light for this. <laughs> okay, cool. And then what are we gonna do is we're gonna go underneath our eyes.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that red in that palette, in that um, Carolyn palette, and I am going to take this brush and I'm going to just wet it a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, almost make myself like a bit of a choker. And start from there. This is going to take some bit of time, so you get the gist of it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the neck piece off camera and I'll be right back. So this is it guys, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this Halloween tutorial. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!